Hello viewers! Have you noticed a yellow symbol on your dashboard that looks like this? Well, this is a TPMS warning telling you the pressure in one or more tires is low for one reason or another. But sometimes this symbol will stay on even when all four tires are correctly inflated. And in this video we'll find out why that may happen and how to fix it. TPMS light can be triggered by anything from low tire pressure to defective sensors or worn batteries. And sometimes you'll just have to reset the system to get rid of this warning. But let me explain each of these things in detail. In most cases an illuminated TPMS light means one or more tires have low pressure. That's what this system is for. Depending on the vehicle you might check the actual tire pressure readings on the infotainment display by navigating to an appropriate menu which makes troubleshooting much easier. But if your car doesn't have this option you can use a tire pressure gauge to match up the measurements with what's on the driver's side door panel. Next, most cars, especially those that can show the PSI values for each tire on the display, have pressure sensing sensors inside the tires. Although they should last 5 to 10 years, their location makes them prone to mechanical damage and contamination by dirt and debris. Another issue that can lead to sensor malfunction is filling up the tire with repair sealants and nitrogen fill-ups, or it's not unheard of for the tire shop to damage the sensors while fitting the tires. Obviously with the sensor out of action your car won't be receiving any tire pressure readings which will trigger a TPMS warning on the dashboard. Also while on the subject of sensors I must mention they have a battery inside that powers them. As you may imagine if the battery wears out the sensor will stop transmitting pressure readings. In many cases the battery can be replaced but sometimes you'll have to replace the whole sensor. Similarly, if you replace the car battery, the 12 volt one that powers all vehicles electrics, this can affect the TPMS operation and trigger a tire pressure warning. Then we have a situation when you've replaced the wheel for whatever reason. Maybe you damaged them in an accident, got some sort of an upgrade or just swapped out from a winter set of wheels to summer ones. All of this can result in TPMS problems and tire pressure warning on the dashboard. In most cases you'll have to simply reset the TPMS and effectively tell it it's all ok. It's much the same when you get your tires rotated or fit a set of new ones. To be honest, most reputable tire shops know all about this and will take care of it for you, but they might have overlooked it if they were in a hurry. Lastly, I'd mention the 12 volt battery again. If it's old and can't hold its charge, this might cause havoc on the car's electrical system, triggering all sorts of weird problems. And because the TPMS runs on electrical power, it might get affected by this and you might get a tire pressure warning even if everything is in perfect order. It's much the same if the alternator is bad, with its voltage output not being stable enough to feed the car's electrics. The tire pressure monitoring system or TPMS does just what the name implies continuously monitors the air pressure in all four tires and alerts the driver if any of them is low. This safety aid was made mandatory for all new cars some years ago because the driver needs to know if any of the tires are underinflated, as this makes the vehicle less stable under sudden maneuvers. The way the TPMS works differs depending on the vehicle. Most cars use so-called direct system with a sensor inside each wheel, something like this, which measures the air pressure and reports it wirelessly to the control unit. If any tire is not inflated correctly, the system triggers a warning light on the dashboard. Some car makers though prefer a more simple, indirect system where the tire pressure is assessed through a wheel speed which is measured by the ABS sensors. In essence the computer monitors how fast the wheels are rotating and if one is slower or faster it concludes that's because the tire is slightly deflated and triggers a TPMS warning light. Now the indirect system is not as accurate as the direct variant, it'll hardly notice if one tire is a couple of psi off, but on the upside it's more reliable as there are no sensors in each wheel so there are less things to go wrong with it. 
Lastly, what you're surely wondering is how to get rid of the TPMS warning, assuming none of the tires are flat. If lucky, you'll be able to fix this yourself, so let me show you what to do. The first step here is to check the PSI values in all four tires using a pressure gauge. This is something you probably don't have at home, so stop at the nearest gas station, as most of these places have a tire pumping facility which also shows the pressure. Compare the readings you see with those recommended by the car maker. You can find this information in the owner's manual or in a sticker on the driver's side door panel. If the tires need more air, fill them up accordingly. The light should go off once the pressure is right. Otherwise, you need to move on to the next steps. And that's to reset the TPMS. Sometimes the car will do this by itself after you've driven it for 5 or 10 minutes at 50 miles per hour or so. But if that doesn't happen, you'll have to reset the system manually. How's this done differs depending on the vehicle. Some cars have a dedicated TPMS reset button somewhere on the center console or under the steering wheel. Turn on the ignition without starting the engine, press and hold the button and wait until it blinks a couple of times before releasing it. At this point the warning light should go off. In most cars though, the controls for the TPMS are integrated into their onboard computer, meaning you'll have to navigate through different menus as shown here. If you're unsure how's this done, consult the owner's manual or leave a question in the comment section below. Now, if you've adjusted the tire pressure and reset the TPMS, but the warning is still on, there's a good chance something's broken. Most likely one of the sensors, assuming your car uses this sort of system. At this point, I'd suggest checking the trouble codes with a diagnostic tool. Still, most cheap OBD2 readers won't have the ability to do this, as they only see engine and transmission related stuff. Instead, you'll either need a more powerful device capable of accessing the TPMS system and any codes that may be stored in it, or visit a tire repair shop. One more thing I must mention here. If you replaced one or more tire sensors, they will have to be reprogrammed. If the replacement was done at the tire shop, take the car back and ask them to do the job. If not, you may need a reprogramming TPMS tool to get the technology reset. However, most automakers include a way to reset and relearn new sensors. You can read more about the procedure in your service manual or do a quick search online with your car model. Lastly, if all this fails, consider replacing the car's 12 volt battery, especially if it's quite old. But before doing this, I suggest doing a quick check with a multimeter. Use it to measure the voltage between the terminals, which should be approximately 12.5 volts. If it's much below that, the battery is probably worn and doesn't hold its charge. Also, turn on the car and redo the test. If it's below 13.5 volts, chances are the alternator is bad. So that would be all about the tire pressure warning light. What causes it and how to fix it. I hope this video was helpful and if so, don't forget to hit that like button and share it with your friends. On the other hand, if you're having some different issues with your car, be sure to check other videos here or visit our site mechanicbase.com for detailed automotive repair guides. Bye!